Hello, I'm David Skull from Roaring Penguin Software. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Custom Rules feature of Canit. A custom rule allows you to make a rule to detect spam that Canit might otherwise miss, or to allow non-spam messages through that Canit might otherwise catch. Custom rules should be used sparingly and cautiously. It's easy to inadvertently get yourself into trouble. To go to the Custom Rules page, click on Rules, and then Custom Rules. A custom rule has six parts. The field specifies what part of the email to match. Subject matches the message subject. Sender matches the envelope sender, and recipient matches an envelope recipient. Hello matches the name given by the SMTP client in its hello command. Don't use this unless you know what you're doing. Relay matches the host name of the SMTP client, whereas Relay address matches the numeric IP address. Header tries the match against all lines on the header of the message, while Body tries the match against all the lines in the body. Raw body tries the match against all the lines in the raw, undecoded MIME message. Don't use raw body unless you know what you're doing. The second part, relation, describes how the match should be performed. Contains looks for the data anywhere in the specified field. Starts with and ends with look for fields that start or end with the specified data. Matches regex looks for a regular expression match. Don't use this unless you know what a regular expression is. Does not contain matches if the field does not contain the data, and is matches if the field is exactly the data. The third part, data, is the text to match. The fourth part, score, is the number of points to add or subtract. Be careful with assigning rule scores. It's usually a bad idea to use a very large positive or negative score until you're sure a custom rule does what you want. Instead, use moderate scores until the rule has proven itself. The fifth part, expiry, is an optional expiry date. If you're protecting against a brand new spam run and don't expect the rule to be needed forever, set an expiry date so the system will automatically delete the rule after a while. Finally, the sixth part, comment, is a little note to yourself explaining why you made the rule and possibly how it works. Now let's take a look at why it can be tricky to make custom rules. Suppose we want a rule that adds points if the word sex appears in the subject. We might make a rule like this. The problem is that this rule will trigger on messages whose subjects contain Sussex, Sexagenarian, Unisex, and other innocuous words. Finally, some notes about custom rules. Custom rules always match case insensitively, so upper lowercase differences are ignored. A stream inherits all of the custom rules from its parent streams. Unlike most other rule types, custom rules don't override parent rules. Instead, they add to them. Custom rule processing is relatively expensive. If you find yourself with more than a few dozen custom rules, you should carefully go through them and ask yourself whether or not they're really needed. Like hot spices, custom rules are best used sparingly.